Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are headed from Cheyenne, Wyoming to Salt Lake City. Uh, this is the seventh day of my trip this summer, and in this video, I met up with a group of fellow riders we call the Gypsy Tour. Uh, every year, my buddy Chris Hutter does a Gypsy Tour where a group of riders will get together and ride a particular route on the way to the rally and this year we're riding the loneliest highway but today's video we're riding from Cheyenne Wyoming to Salt Lake City to get us prepared to go out uh, Highway 50 which is called the loneliest road in America I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get to it Hey, good morning guys, Papa D here. Uh, we're getting ready to roll out on the first day of the Gypsy Tour, headed out to the National Road Glide Rally Short Week in Carson City, but we're getting ready to leave Cheyenne. So let me show you all what we've got going on here. All right, we got everybody getting ready to head out. That was old Chris Hutter there pointing at me. He was our fearless leader. Cat Hutter, we call him. All these guys here. Getting her all dried off, Sean. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody's debating whether or not they need to put on rain gear. <laughs> um, like we're headed that direction, but we may get some rain early. It's kind of cool, so I'm not sure what everybody's decision is going to be. <laughs> Good morning, Pat. How are you? I see you made your decision. I made my decision, absolutely. Okay. Snow I, I can't put these things on in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that feeling. <laughs> Looks pretty clear going that way, though. It looks pretty clear. Looks can be deceiving because you go like that and it's bad. <laughs> so anyhow, guys, I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee and uh, get ready to go. Mike Watson, Mike, want to come on up here? Mike's gonna run tail for us. Uh, we're, gonna, we're just gonna use basic hog riding, um, hand signals if we need them. Hopefully, we don't need too much, you know. But you know them. But uh, Mike, that would just take a second to go over there for us. Yeah, I think everybody knows, you know, right turn, left turn, slow down, tap out. Like, if you got to stop, you're going to right sweep, and if you got to pull off or something, tap out and let the people know around you that you're tapping out and everything else, because I will stop with you if I'm way behind. So, uh, you know, and if it's like this, speed up, and Chris will let me know. I'll take the lane, and then everybody else just move over. Anybody else running uh, CB units? Anybody have them? Yeah, we'll run like channel four. Channel four? Yeah, we'll run channel four. And that way, you know, I'll, I'll put on, they're going to take the lane. I'll put on a signal. Mike will Mike will, uh, we'll watch, let it, let it clear out. Mike will clear out over, and then we can all just move up over into the passing lane if we need to. Um, well, people are asking about as far as how far gas breaks and everything else. And we have a large group, but stopping and starting and stopping, you, you, we keep doing that. We're not getting anywhere. So, I mean, you know, I, I generally try to ride 100 miles, you know, my, my an hour, 100, the 100 mile meter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting ready to roll out on the Gypsy Tour. I don't have the regular microphone in this thing today, so I'm just going to talk to you before we get rolling. Chris is counting the bikes. Make sure we don't leave anybody behind. Just had our little safety briefing. And kick stands up at 7 o'clock, which is two minutes from now. This windmill farm is right outside of Cheyenne, headed west on I-80. Hey guys, we're on the old Lincoln Highway and we stopped at a rest area here. Hey Pat, 
So I'm sure what we got going on. Right back there is all the bikes. Boy Scouts post, posted those all the way across the United States with arrows so you knew which ways to go on the Lincoln Highway. Oh, cool is that? So you don't see many of those left around. Once in a while, in Pittsburgh, there's a couple. And little small towns. Yeah, little small towns. Just These markers are all the way across the country. That there should be a Lincoln Highway across this country is an important thing. All right, so Chris right behind me just said the reason this statue of Lincoln is here is because this is the highest spot on the Lincoln Highway. We're about 9,000 feet of elevation. Uh, uh, hey, if everybody can get up here, let's get a quick, quick picture and then we're going to get rolling. Um, here we are turning on the Highway 30 out of Laramie. All right, guys, we stopped at the Virginian Hotel here in Medicine Bow. Let's walk inside. Old saloon. Good. Is it good? It's good pie, man. Thanks Cherry pie. Hit the spot. Never a wrong time for a piece of pie. Cheers. Yeah, you can get in the picture. I brush it every day, put conditioner in it, all the time. Wax it, but I do it now and it still won't work. Yeah. My dad always said that Chris gets up in the morning and puts it. This is the certified that the company flag was flown over the United States Capitol on September 30th, 2011, at the request of the Honorable John Barson, United States Senator. This flag was flown on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the historic Virginia Hotel. One more room back here I'm going to look at, and then I don't want to wear out my welcome. This is so cool, guys. If you're ever in Medicine Bow, you need to come check this out. It's like a cellar down in here. All right, guys, I got permission to go upstairs in this old hotel. Can't go in the rooms, but they're open. Check out this old mural. Oh, man. Cool stuff. A fireplace in there you can't see it the parlor in the center oh my wife would love that bed I better hurry up, old Chris Hutter will leave me. This is a Queen Worcester Suite. I can't go in there, I don't reach my hand in. Oh man, look at that, guys. Was that awesome? 
or what. This is a cool, cool place. There's another story up there, but I'm not going to wear out my welcome and go any further up. I need to get back out to the bike before I get left by the group. Watch my step here. Thanks for riding along with me, guys. Salt Lake City today. Uh, we're out on I-80. Uh, we've been dealing with a lot of rain, a little bit of sleet, the heavy, heavy, heavy rain, probably some of the heaviest I've ridden in. Uh, let me show you this rest area. It looks like it's clearing up on us. So the clouds are lifting. The rain has just stopped a minute ago. Uh, it's been nice and cold. And hopefully, we're headed in that direction. We'll see some sunshine soon. Anyway, we pulled into this rest area and go in. A lot of men in this group, a couple of wives are with them, but uh, the lady inside closes the men's bathroom as soon as we walk in and lets us use the family bathroom that has one, one seat in it. We found sunshine. We're in Green River, Wyoming. Everybody's getting out of their rain gear. Witnessing here is the gypsy tour U turn. It's when we miss our turn and uh, have to redirect. We only did this a couple of times on this particular gypsy tour.
right, that brief reprieve from the rain didn't last long, so we put our rain gear back on. So what Chris was saying was that was the original Lincoln Highway that we were just on. And you like to take the service for more than they could have done off so much. You never know, get five miles down the road, have to backtrack to here. So we had to make time down to Salt Lake City. So we're getting back on the interstate here. made it to the almost the border of Utah. This is the Welcome Center if you're headed eastbound on I-80 to Wyoming. They have all this taxidermy on display. So if you're ever in the area, come check it out. Good place to stop and stretch your legs. Check out that eagle right there. Catch you guys a little bit later. Continue to enjoy this ride. So we continued on down the hill into Salt Lake City. That's pretty much it for today's ride, guys. I appreciate you riding along. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to my channel, share it with somebody, and give me a thumbs up. Once again, thanks for your support, and thanks for riding along with me. We'll see you on the next video.